Before doing it, uh, we're talking about the story. Good afternoon, Mr. Gobo. Good afternoon, Mr. Mr. Mahas. Mr. Gobo, you can tell us about yourself and who is Mr. Gobo and how he started in the right way. Yes, uh, first of all, thank you uh, for yeah. choosing me for part of your program as an entrepreneur. Uh, you are taking my interview. Thank you. And myself, uh, I'm coming from uh, a state called Tamil Nadu, from India, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Gopur Amanaidu. Okay. I'm a qualified chartered accountant. Mm -hmm. I first I came to UAE in uh, April 27, 2004, mm -hmm. and uh, from there my journey started in UAE. Okay. Uh, I've started working for a company called Caspian Group in okay. Russell Khaima as a project accountant mm -hmm. uh, for a 4,500 dirham salary. Nice. Uh, yeah, it was really a wonderful, uh, wonderful. A small to can big man. Not coming, everything is coming up to quickly. Right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What you can tell us about your story, how you're coming step by step? Right, from there, once I uh, uh, ended there as a like, project accountant, uh, my ambitions wouldn't stop there and I want to be on my own. And uh, I resigned from this Caspian group in the end of 2006. I moved to Dubai mm -hmm. and started exploring, starting my own accounting firm, which eventually started in September 2007. There on, we just started with myself and then we are about now uh, a 60 member team. Mm -hmm. So we have a back office at Chennai as well mm -hmm. to support our office here. We are an audit firm. Uh, at least, definitely we are uh, um, uh, one among the emerging, <coughs> on the emerging accounting firm, we are one among the notable uh, player okay. in Dubai. And um, my vision um, is to be uh, at least on the one of these top 10 accounting firm. Yes. And I'm sure I'll achieve by this next 10 years tenure. Mm -hmm. We will be there on that, like one of the uh, reliable mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, valuable accounting firm to, to serve for the UAE businesses mm -hmm. um, from the accounting and financing uh, uh, vertical, yeah. How you start this company? Yeah, starting it is, uh, uh, yeah, I was getting a, uh, when I was resigned, I was getting my salary around 12,000 dirhams and I was confident that I want to be on my own. I will not get less than what I'm getting as a okay. employee. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to have certain. So I'm giving up that. I'm sure I'm not, I'll not get less than that. And then I've started uh, okay. uh, being a chartered <coughs> accountant. I, I always I felt better yes. uh, being on your own, mm -hmm. um, serving for a larger community rather than sticking to one particular company and then whatever. Uh, positions you can achieve on that particular company. Mm -hmm. uh, my, I chose to be on my own. As every business, uh, the the clients are the the important people, yes. uh, and we need to take care of uh, the requirements mm -hmm. at top priority. Yes, of course. and if whatever we can deliver without delaying, the quality is the most important thing mm -hmm. that we kept in mind, and uh, timely uh, delivery of our work. Being in a service industry, mm -hmm. that is as well as as top as <coughs> this thing. These two things mm -hmm. made us. And, and, and most important thing is understanding the client, the requirements, being part of their business. Yes. That is one thing, like, you know, when we 
uh, be uh, treat any client, even a small or big, uh, whatever best as a as a as accounting firm, looking at from their point of angle, we can do be doing it. Nice. And what you have exactly work here about your company? What you have services here? Yeah, auditing of accounts, mm -hmm. which is the main uh, services we provide, okay. and we also provide uh, uh, accounting, outsourced accounting services. Uh, where a small firm or a medium-sized firm, which s portion of their accounting function, if they don't want to have their own people, we can get it. They can get it outsourced to us, mm -hmm. and our team manages it. It happens in a two parts. One is somebody from our office physically visiting their uh, clients' places mm -hmm. and doing the, the whatever accounting work from that place, and also we're doing it on a cloud. Yes. So we ask. Uh, 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 the information to be shared on our server, we have in a cloud server mm -hmm. where this information could be uh, passed on to the server and our team over here and back office at Chennai okay. able to uh, take that data mm -hmm. and uh, process okay. there's a <coughs> work and give a monthly reports. We also into uh, uh, VAT consulting, mm -hmm. uh, we do provide that as well and we uh, uh, lately we more we focusing on uh, m and d mergers and acquisitions for especially small and medium sized businesses if anybody wants to uh, buy or sell their businesses so we provide a uh, consulting services uh, both from the buy side and sell side to get this transaction smoothly it's nice. completed and what the specialized about your work about your company what the difference between you or another one Specialized, uh, yes, we are focused on to the uh, uh, client what best we can rather than uh, uh, providing a stereotypic solutions. Uh, we always um, uh, try to look at it what best, what could be good mm -hmm. for a greater good for the client, you know. Okay. So that is, we advise always this, mm -hmm. and we always look at uh, any client I book. I look at as a 10-year relationship mm -hmm. rather than one-year relationship. Nice. So that makes a real difference on the... I want them to be growing and we grow with along with them. Nice. What about your employees, about your staff? How you choose your people? Choice is also uh, choosing mainly I look at as uh, do they have uh, really interest into what we do? They uh, Or just for a... a they should not be ending up here just for a stopgap kind of arrangement. Just they need to have uh, really wants to put up their career mm -hmm. into this practice. Those kind of people. That's the very important thing I look for. What about the future? How you can see yourself and your work in the future? What's your vision? See, the opportunities are immense. Mm -hmm. The businesses are growing, definitely grow, okay. going to grow in a multifold and an opt optimistic view. Uh, and uh, being an accounting firm, we play a very vital role on every business in terms of compliance. Mm -hmm. So our uh, requirement for our services will be much uh, larger in future. And we will uh, able to uh, grow ourselves to cater such needs. Mm -hmm. And I see a bright future on that. It is really a wonderful place. Okay, it's not about TV interview. I'm telling us this is really a wonderful place from my art. I'm telling this. Okay, and uh, a small um, incident I could s share. You know, like uh, we've been discussed with my wa myself and my wife about yes. free, uh, like you know, democracy. I'm from coming from a country where democracy and freedom and all this freedom of speech and everything is there. Yes. Of course. Um, there is a real difference I can see. Uh, what is the freedom? Mm -hmm. Is the freedom is that uh, me, myself, my kids and everybody, at, even at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, freely I can walk. Okay. That is what called freedom. Mm -hmm. Rather, even though we're coming from people uh, back home, people can talk anything, but they cannot safety. Yes. That they don't want to enjoy there. That's the, mm -hmm. like, if country has got a that safety, 
that is what the first freedom everyone should have to have than anything else uh, and uh, people uh, uh, don't talk uh, something which is yes. uh, not their uh, uh, some nonsense talk cannot be happening here that's also good actually not uh, uh, this thing that sh that's how a country anybody should be there you know yeah, yeah. And what to thanks for uh, Rose and the princess about sex and good uh, luck for your business? I really thank them. <coughs> I really thank them. And it's, it's a great country. And uh, we ourselves, you know, as expatriates, want to be more integrated along with the society. Mm -hmm. And we look forward, we will be like uh, even well, further well connected as a part of UAE in future. Really thank you uh, uh, for having me on this, giving me this opportunity to inter get this interview. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a life will have certain adults and whatever, uh, and believe in God, mm -hmm. go get along with, yes. and <coughs> things will happen always for a good. That's how I take it. Mm -hmm. Every challenge is coming for you to make a strong, then uh, uh, not not to just give you trouble, just to make you s strengthen yourself for your future journey. That's what I see myself. In the high many years, thank you for accepting us with this program in your office. And good luck for everything in the future. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming <laughs> for you. my office. and thing that I have right now with Mr. Bobo. He, the businessman, is coming to step by step become the businessman in me. And he coming with uh, his company, KGRS, about everything in accounting in the company. In the family, good luck, everybody. Welcome, sir.